What's up? It is a Tuesday morning, 7.30. Got to the gym by 7 o'clock, which I usually do, but I had to run in today and um, get my notes together and stuff because I'm going to Run Oak, Roanoke Rapids, North Carolina. We got a sister gym there, for those that, for those of y'all who don't know. And uh, Autumn there, she runs billing for me and all that stuff. So what I'm going to do today, I'm going to go up there with her for the first and run billing and go with some reports and some whatever. So today is going to be a real busy day. Uh, my first client start at one o'clock and I got seven, I believe. So it's going to be when I get back at one, I'm going to be running all day long, which that's what that's what my passion is. I enjoy it. Uh, but I got to get up there, do reports with her right quick, go to the bank, um, go pick up some office supplies, get back here, try to squeeze a workout in before one o'clock and then start my day at one o'clock really. And then after that, probably around seven thirty, eight o'clock, I take care of some online clients. It's going to be a packed day, but that's my life and I love it. What's up? It is quarter to seven, 6.45. And ever since I got back from Runic Rapids, I've been going nonstop. I had to get my workout in, had a client, had to get my cardio in, and then there was clients back to back. And uh, I didn't get a chance to record anything else. And I'm just leaving. I got to go to Sam's Club to pick up some stuff for the gym. This is what I wanted to say, okay? Most people don't know, okay, bodybuilding is a subculture. I've been bodybuilding pretty much all my life. Um, I've always been a fan of bodybuilding. And as you guys know, I'm, I'm doing a show in August, August 26th. And most people don't know that you got your, your natural organizations as far as bodybuilding competitions and your, well, you got your tested shows and your non-tested shows, Okay. Your tested shows is shows like what I'm about to do, OCB, IMBF, and that type of thing. Your your non-tested shows are like NPC. That's basically, basically the main one. And I'm doing the tested shows because I'm drug-free. I mean, I just don't have no interest in doing steroids. I, I just believe in just, I believe in health, first and foremost, not how big or how masculine I can get. So that's my route I choose. Now, I, I don't judge anybody to do it. I have plenty of friends that I train with that were on something, and I didn't judge them. I mean, that's their body. There's their decision. They can do what they want. I mean, they were on it. They knew I knew they were on it. We didn't really discuss it because they know that's not really my world. But, you know... I respect it. And um, so, yeah, guys, so it, I'm doing the, te the tested shows when they do test your, um, you know, to see if you were on any type of uh, performance enhancing drugs. And the way that goes is shows always on Saturdays. So I have to be at the hotel on a Friday to um, take a polygraph test and urinalysis. So, you know, they give you a certain time little time window to be there to take your polygraph and urine and then you know you compete the next day which is saturday anyway no judgment for guys or girls who do it it's just that's just the way it is a lot of people don't know that it is two different type of shows two different type of organizations and i'm doing the tested one and and, you, and, and just because a person is not doing a natural show it doesn't mean they're on something because they go in a, in a non-tested show because I have competed in PC, which they don't test, and I still wasn't on anything. I didn't place very well, but I wasn't on anything. So that doesn't mean they're taking steroids because they're 
competing in a, in a non-tested show. It means it's going to be some people in there that's going to be on something in a non-tested show. But the show they do drug tests, you know, you pretty much got to be clean. Hopefully they are. And uh, anyway, guys, just wanted to get it off my chest. Let y'all guys know about that. For those who don't know, that don't know about the bodybuilding, because it is a subculture. All right. I'll catch y'all guys later. It is Friday afternoon, about 5 o'clock, and last time I recorded something was Monday, as y'all guys know. It's been so busy this week, I haven't had time to even pick the camera up and, and video anything. Uh, I know I mentioned about the, uh, about the show and about the, the drug testing and, you know, the non-tested shows and the tested shows. But really I wanted to touch on too is I just keep hearing from women time and time again I'm about to go crazy. They might know a know of or saw in, saw in a, some type of magazine or uh, I know some type of bodybuilding woman that is really muscular and that compete. And a lot of those women they're looking at probably 99% of them, it all depends. Um, they're on something. They're on some type of form enhancing drugs. And the thing about it is, ladies, you will not gain muscle no matter how hard you train. No, let me rephrase that. You will not look like a man no matter hard, how hard you train. It doesn't matter. You're not going to look like a man. You do not have male testosterone. Okay? That's the only way you're going to look like a man. That's the only way your face structure is going to change in any type of way or your voice get deeper all that is performance enhancing drugs now not to pass judgment on anyone i mean it's their bodies they can do whatever they choose but you know you have to understand that you're going to get lean you're going to get somewhat muscular but you're not going to look like a man and believe me even to get lean is going to be a lot a lot of work so you know don't don't think that's going to happen I might have mentioned this in one of my other videos and I don't want to harp on that too long. Also, um, I do want to say, if I haven't said, I might have forgot I said this, but I think I've been doing low carb. Y'all guys know I've been, I've been dieting. This is my second week, week number two, okay? You saw what the scale said. Um, I really didn't really drop any weight this week. It's about the same as it was last week, which is fine. I'm going to tweak my diet just a little. And um, I'm going to go probably full keto diet. I don't know if y'all guys really know what a keto diet is. Uh, but I will explain that, you know, in maybe a whole nother video because it's going to be a long story. So basically that's like only 5% carbs. Uh, I can't remember, like eight, 75, 80% um, fats, 5% carbs, and I don't know, like 20%, somewhere in like 20, 25% protein. But I'm going, I'm going to try it because, you know, a lot of people ask me about it also. So one thing about me, guys, is if I give my opinion on something, it's pretty much something I tried or something somebody I know did it and they gave me feedback on it. But at whatever opinion I give you, it's an, informed, it's an informed opinion. It's not something I read in a book somewhere. I mean, reading is fine. Learning new things is fine from reading. That's part of the process. But then you got to... I like to read things, learn things, and then put it to the, my test, okay? Not somebody else's study, you know? Let's go through my test. So I'm gonna try the keto diet through this whole weight loss journey, well, pre-contest show journey, and um, y'all gonna see the whole process, and we see how it goes. Anyway, it's Friday, five o'clock. I still got a lot of stuff to do. I got to Walmart, I gotta pick up some folding tables, some folding chairs. I gotta pick up some ink. Forget about harping on all the stuff I got to do. Anyway, I'll catch y'all guys next week.